Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new video on the channel. In this current video series, I want to focus on steps that are important in the early project and design creation process. So before creating the actual design in our favorite design apps, I want to focus on stages like wireframing, user flows and all of these aspects that are equally important as the actual creation of the final user interface and graphics in our design apps. This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain, an in-person coding and design bootcamp. In today's video, I want to talk about user flows. Now user flows come after wireframing. So usually you create your wireframe, then you create a user flow out of this wireframe screens and then you create your actual design and refine or replace those wireframe screens of the user in the user flow with your actual design screens. User flows make usability problems visible in the early stage of a design or product creation process. You will notice gaps and problems in your wireframes in your designs that you wouldn't have noticed without the user flow or maybe you would have noticed them very late in the process when it would be expensive to make bigger changes to your design or final product. User flows will ultimately make you a better designer because they will improve your products, your designs from the beginning of a project to the end when you will create your final design and when you will hand it over to a user who will then be able to use your design, your app, your website to solve his or her problems. And the user flow is about finding these gaps, these problems, these gaps between the screens within the connections that you created in your concept. So it's basically documenting the process, the flow of a user from, as I said, the beginning of an app or a website to the end. And it's also helping you because you will get a whole overview of your app. You will notice screens that are still missing, like for example a loading screen or stuff like that. These are usually screens that we will forget because we didn't test out the app uh, while we are designing. But by creating such a wireframe, you will notice those items, screens and things that are missing because you will think about how the user will interact with your app, which ways he will go, from which screen he will navigate to another screen. I hope you enjoyed this small video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumb up button and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for your time and we will see us in the next video. Bye. Dev Mountain offers housing at no extra cost for immersive students and they have a career services team to help with job placements. Dev Mountain would love to hear from you, so be sure to click the link in the video description if you or somebody you know is ready to dive into the UX design program.